Hello, how are you doing? Hey, we told this was going to be interactive. Hello, how are you doing? Great. <laughs> now, we will use the laser points for interaction. Hey, I hope you are all having a great experience during today's event, and I hope you are getting the best out of big things. This is the last session, and we will try to make it a little bit more different, a little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive. First of all, thank you very much to Paradigma, which gave us the opportunity to come here and give this speech to you. And thank you very much to all the sponsors that facilitate all these things happening. But also, and that's very important, thank you very much to you all. I don't know if you realize, but you represent the big data community. And as you will see during this presentation, being the big data community is a very relevant thing in the Spanish continent, and I presume worldwide. But before starting, let me present myself. I am Carlos Bellarain, Head of Development, Service Development Department at Minsight. And you will say, what is service development? Service development is about adding a layer of service among all the solutions that Minsight is providing to the clients. But today, we are not going to speak about service layers. We are going to speak about data. But I'm sorry, I don't know anything about data. The fact is that I don't know anything about data. That's why here is Nacho, which is the one that knows about data. Thank Nacho, you. may you present yourself? Thank you. My name is Nacho Alvaro. I am the responsible of the data and analytics business unit at Minsight. And today, I'm the voice of the expert. Great. So he is the of one that's going to speak. OK. <laughs> Any questions to him? OK. Um, today, we are going to present this. We're going to present the conclusions of this report. That's why I'm here. I'm here because I've been leading this effort within Midsight. We have been spending some time in developing this report. This report is about trying to understand how are the big corporations tackling big data? How are they approaching? What are they doing? In which initiatives they are having success? In which initiatives they are failing? And perhaps what's more important, how are they approaching the big data strategies, what they are using them for? Um, some data. We have interviewed above 100 companies. We have spent more than six months doing the report. The, the companies that are in this report represent about 20% of the Spanish economy. And we have analyzed in deep with them all their investments in big data, all their tactics, all their strategies. So perhaps we are the company in Spain that have a more global vision about how big corporations are approaching big data. But before telling you the conclusions of the four, how don't you, why don't you tell us what's the methodology we have followed? Good. When uh, Carlos uh, presented us this challenge, because it was kind of challenge, we organized uh, small group of uh, very multidisciplinary and talented people so we can cover all the different areas of the of the of the our report our research okay we divided the research in three main blocks digital enablers those uh, basic capabilities in order to be uh, to be prepared to be data driven such as uh, strategy governance talents and culture and technology um, we have another uh, second uh, part that we call intelligence, which are those uh, advanced uh, skills, let's say, to manage data life cycle. Listening, uh, capturing information from any source and any format. Learning, transform all this raw data into uh, information. And actioning, which is uh, transform the information into decision, both uh, human-based decision or fully automated decision. And the last part of, uh, of the research is what we call is what we call a digital dimension, which is how to apply all these capabilities to different area of the business, innovation, customers, operations, and security. So through this report, you can find how are the, co the, the, corpor the Spanish corporations tackling all these issues? How much money they are investing on listening, 
on learning, on acting, what their structures they are building, what's the technology they are building, how much money they are investing in culture, in talent, in systems, in organization, which are the main use cases they are developing, which ones they are failing, which ones they are having success. All within here. This is a 150-page report. I guess it's a little bit more. We have 30 minutes. It's going to be boring if just I come <laughs> here and tell you the conclusions. So, 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 so let's make it a little bit more interactive, OK? Let's play a game. This is the last session. Let's play a game all together. And for, for playing this game, I need you to be interact. So take your laser points, and let's try to check if you are able to aim here. At my report, Come on, here are only three or four laser points. <laughs> Great. I can see many. Let's try another thing. Can you aim to, to systematic? The blue zone? Good. Great, it's working. So now we know how to vote. So the game is going to work this way. I'm going to present different approaches for three topics. All the Spanish corporations are classified in these, three dif in these different approaches, OK? But before telling you what are the corporations doing, you are going to tell me which is the best solution. You are the big data community, so you are the opinion, the knowledge of the big data community, and you are going to tell which is the right answer. And then we will compare it with the reality of the Spanish market to see what comes. OK, let's play the game. Yes? OK, let's go for the first. No, let's go for the first. Uh, well, yes. Yes, let's go for the first. The Keith. So first question, how to optimize efforts to generate greater business impact through data driven? Wow, what a question. Let's see which are the alternatives. During our work, we have found the Spanish corporations investing money in very different approaches. There are companies that are not investing much money on the enablers. That means they are not investing money on the technology, nor on the talent, nor or on the organization or building the strategy. They are neither investing money on the intelligence. That means they are not investing money in collecting data or making the analysis, but they are investing their money in the business dimension. So they are mostly investing all the money on the use cases directly without enabling or building the intelligence behind. And there is a group of Spanish corporations in group A. There is a second group of corporations, which is group B, establish the basis to perform the business. Are those corporations that are investing first the money on the enablers, on getting prepared with the technology, with the systems, with the talent. Then they are investing the money on the intelligence, gathering the data, analyzing it, and only afterwards doing their best to take the usage of that investment on the business dimensions. There's a third group of companies that are investing the money on the enablers, getting prepared, and directly on the use cases, forgetting about getting the data or analyzing it third group. And fourth group, there are some companies that are just investing the money on, call, on preparing. And they are eternally preparing themselves. Building better systems, which is a mass, capturing, enhancing the culture, or preparing themselves with a great study, but not really doing anything. And so, the question for the big data community, which is you, which ones do you think is the most adequate approach for the big corporations? It looks like it's B. Yeah, we agree? Great. So you think the big data community represented in this room thinks that the B is the adequate solution. In case the lesser points were broken, I made this, inter this, this survey to the global big data, uh, data community through email over the last two weeks. And the global community also thinks that B is the adequate solution. So it's clear, you all agree, big data community in this room thinks that that's the way 
to approach this problem. What does means, I think? Well, in our opinion, this is the way to go. Um, establish uh, the foundations of, uh, what, uh, of your strategy or your uh, technology base or platform uh, will help us uh, to develop all the use cases that you will de develop at current time or in the future. So I think, uh, in my opinion, in our opinion, it, uh, it uh, makes uh, much sense uh, to many organizations to act like this. Okay, this is going to be easy. If everybody agrees this is the adequate solution, I'm sure 100% of the Spanish corporations will be there. No? Let's see. Sixty-two of the Spanish corporations are following the A path. They are not investing money in enabling anything. They are not investing money in collecting the data nor analyzing anything. But they are investing tons of money in building use cases without getting prepared and without the information. But they invest money on big data just on building the use cases. Only 13% of the corporations are really getting prepared and building the intelligence in order to use it. And the rest, you know, is minor. But I'm not technical. I don't understand anything about this. How can come this be a relative? Well, in our opinion, um, many companies are under a lot of pressure to, pro to demonstrate results. So it's quite logical that they push, they, they put the focus on use cases. Uh, the point is uh, that maybe they are uh, losing the bigger picture because they will end up with a list of POCs or unconnected initiatives. So uh, they can be losing some big opportunities. Okay, great. Thanks for the participation. Let's go for the second question. Intelligence, the key to generate added value, how to invest on such capabilities. Again, four different options. Corporations in the Spanish market are following four different paths. There is a group of corporations that are investing money in collecting information. They are also investing money in analyzing that information. And they are also investing money in making the decisions with that information. That's what we call, don't be shy, put analytics at work. There is a second group of corporations that don't invest money on capturing anything, don't invest money on analyzing anything, but they invest money on making things happen. Third group, they invest money on capturing information, they invest money on analyzing, on only after analyzing the captured information, then they start thinking about which should be the use cases and how to put in value that information. Third group of companies. Fourth group of companies, people that invest tons of money in capturing, tons of information, everything that we can collect, we collect it. And we have in our legs, in our computers, in our data rooms, we don't know what was the uses for that, but in the future I'm sure that's gonna be critical. And they save everything and they don't do anything with that information. Fourth group. Of, of companies, okay? Again, is your time to participate. Which is the best approach for the corporations? What do you think, Carlos? Maybe, eh? maybe the first one? I think it's A, your opinion. Many people also on C, eh? Yeah. Something between A and C. <laughs> okay, what means side opinion? Well, um, our opinion is in this case, I, I would prefer, I, I agree with the community that maybe there are two options that may be closed, uh, but I agree that um, the first option is the, the one to go, okay? Uh, why? I, um, it must be challenging to, to develop at the same pace your um, decision capabilities uh, while you are uh, developing as well your listening or your um, learning capabilities. But it's the only way to, to demonstrate value and to test uh, your decisions in the real world. The uh, world is changing very quickly, 
So uh, you may lose uh, some uh, feedback for your customers on from your business if you don't put uh, and you don't activate those algorithms in the real world. Okay, so you, global big data community here at the room, think that A is the best option, A or C. Minsight agrees. Yes. The, through the email, through the survive, the big data community, global big data community also agrees is A and C. Let's see what does, what are the corporations really doing? Some emotion. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that 50% of the corporations are choosing for strategy number B. They are not investing anything on collecting new information. They are not investing anything on making any single analysis. They are just investing some money on the decision-making process. Only 9% of the companies goes for A, 22% of the companies goes for the most, most equilibrated strategy C. What does means, I think, about these results? Well, I guess that uh, many corporations are, are still using traditional business intelligence solutions and approaches to take decisions or even they are using intuition. So uh, it's quite logical having these results. Great. Let's go for a third question. Yeah. Let's go. Became a data-driven organization. Which is the best approach? In the path to build a data-driven organization, corporations are following completely different approach in their thinking process. Some corporations think this way. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to surround myself with partners that enhance my data capabilities. One, having built these digital ecosystems, they build the adequate technology. Afterwards, they build a governance system in order to ensure that everything was perfect, and then they start with all these capabilities to work on the use cases. Approach number one. Second approach. Some companies think, no, the adequate approach is, let's first think on the client. What does the client need? What does the client want? Let's understand the client deeply. And once we understand the client, and once we understand what can we deliver to them, let's think about the operations. How can we enhance the operations to deliver that service to the clients? And therefore, let's securitize those process, and let's innovate with all the data in order to provide the best service to the clients. Approach number two. Approach number three. This is the core transformation. This is about data. So they say, hey, let's think about data. The first thing is to ensure that the data is protected, that we understand which is the adequate data. It's about building an adequate data governance strategy within the company. Then we build a data culture because we can set the rules. We need everybody, all employees, to understand the value data. Third, then we have to adopt the adequate technology in order to ensure this culture. And fourth, we make all the analysis and the governance in order to ensure that they, they put in value this data. So the, th the third approach is everything goes around the data and, a value, uh, and the value behind the data. Fourth approach, the followers, the ones that say, hey, I don't want to say anything to anyone. I just securitize myself, and I look, and I wait. And I don't invest a single, uh, a single euro on anything. Because everybody is speaking about big data, but everybody is investing tons of money on this and losing tons of money. I don't have much money, I just wait. And once someone comes here and demonstrates me that there is a profitable investment, then I do it. So it's about waiting and see. Wait and see, and I will decide once I go for sure. So followers. So big data community, what do you think is the most adequate approach? Wow. <laughs> can you say something, Carlos? Wow. <laughs> yes, I can, I can say something. No one is a follower. <laughs> Thank you very much. The only clear thing here is the follower strategy is not the adequate strategy. 
Let's check what has, through the survive, was the opinion of the global big data community. More or less like you, everybody say the only thing we have clear is being a follower is not adequate. If big data is about building a competitive advantage, we have to move forward. We have to step on, on top of the others. What's the inside opinion about this? Well, I can see that the, the community is divided into these three top options. But it, I, if I have to choose one, uh, I must confess that the, the visionary one is the, the one I will choose. Why? Well, um, I think that uh, we think that maybe uh, competing today in this uh, big data world uh, must, must be very complex. So, so you, you will need the help of many companies or many partners, uh, the startup uh, ecosystem, and you can uh, also collaborate with other industries. So you build up with this digital ecosystem while you are concentrating on transforming your business, your core business, when, uh, where you probably are the master of, uh, of uh, what you want to do. Uh, uh, at, this other... time, at this time, I, I presume corporations should be somewhere between A, B, and C. Um, I hope, I hope. <laughs> I'm not that sure, eh? I'm sorry. Almost half of the Spanish corporations are just followers, explicitly waiting for what are the others doing. That means they don't recognize any competitive advantage, they just wait for the others to invest, to give ahead, and to go forward. What do we think about this? Well, our, that is Aster, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> our research covers more than 100 uh, enterprises, so it's logical to have uh, some of them, uh, the big ones, the, the, the visionaries, acting, acting as the leaders, and many other companies uh, just seeing what is going on with these uh, companies that are more advanced. In fact, one of the, one of the outcomes of the, our, our research is the, the industry, the, some industries are more advanced, and such as uh, telco or banking. So um, I see that many other uh, sectors, uh, is they are just looking and waiting to learn something from this uh, success or the, the failure of the others. Okay, that was about with the game. I hope you have learned one thing. I hope you have learned that despite we do think, as technicians, we do think that there is a right approach for the problems, corporations has a completely different point of view. The reality is absolutely different from our reality. And I think that is the main conclusion, or one of the main conclusions of the report we have been doing. But having a global look of the report, which could be the great highlights we have come on while doing it? Well, uh, it's clear that the main highlight is that companies, Spanish companies, are uh, still far away of being data-driven. Um, for instance, they are applying intelligence and data in the more obvious areas of their uh, business, such as uh, security, fraud, or compliance, but they are not applying intelligence in some core uh, capabilities, uh, such as customer relationship. Only uh, less than 20% uh, uh, of the companies are uh, using analytics to monitor customer experience, which is uh, one of their two priorities. Um, only uh, regarding uh, intelligence, only 12% of the companies uh, enrich uh, their vision, their internal vision with external data, which seems uh, amazing for me because uh, it's, uh, there are a lot of information in this uh, digital world uh, that may, they may, may be missing. And even if they can capture uh, complex uh, data and complex and social data, only a fraction of them are using to take decisions. But it's not all bad news. I, um, I guess the good news is that all, and almost any company, 56% um, uh, of the companies has already a strategy regarding data. And those companies that are uh, later on this uh, evolution path 
are um, don't have a strategy, but they are thinking on uh, they are putting this uh, big data uh, analytics, uh, AI or machine learning up top on their priorities for these uh, coming years. Okay, that's about it on the report. There is one single additional conclusion we have come while building this report. There is, in fact, only one thing on which all the 100 corporations have agreed on. 108 corporations we have interviewed, and 108 corporations agree on which is the biggest problem they face in order to develop their big data strategies. And that problem, all of them agree, is talent. To capture the talented people, to capture the adequate people in order to develop their strategies is the most critical point in order to have success in building any approach. So the good thing here is that you, big data community, you are the critical ones in this equation. So congratulations, you are critical. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.